Hey guys, hope everybody is doing well as always. So I wanted to drop this really quick little video and actually talk about systems inside of your business because systems are extremely important. They are an integral part of your business and your success. Um, your systems could really uh, spell disaster for your company or absolute utter success, right? That's how important systems are. Now, <clears throat> what I've noticed over the years when it comes to people uh, creating systems inside their business is they usually hire somebody who's good at this. Like a lot of entrepreneurs aren't really great at organization, um, but I am. So when I was in jobs, when I was a younger man and I was doing dispatch center management and things like that, a huge part of my role was to create procedures and systems. So I actually started really low down in these companies when I was like 17 years old. And by the time I was 19, I was running big dispatch centers um, in the fashion industry at the time. And it was systems that actually got me there because I was able to um, look at the operation of the floor and everything and be able to create systems like Excel systems, systems to uh, even like bin picking systems, systems when it came to um, uh, dispatching stock overseas and all sorts of systems and really make it simple, right? I simplified everything and I streamlined it all and the, the upper henchelons upstairs caught note of this and they essentially got me to rewrite all their systems and procedures for the head office and, and all that stuff as well. So it is very important to have really, really good systems inside your business. And what I've noticed is a lot of people will make it way too pretty, right? So you might hire someone to do systems for you or, or you might do systems yourself. And, but this, this usually happens when you hire somebody to do systems. Sorry about that, guys. My kids are nuts because they're all home from school because we're on COVID lockdown. Um... Yeah, they'll hire somebody to do systems and what will actually happen is the person will get so caught up in trying to make it look good, to look pretty, all these sort of Excel spreadsheets and, and uh, mathematical equations that happen automatically and all this stuff and different color codes and everything. When when these things look great and a lot of company owners will, will get them and go, wow, this is really excellent, I could have never done this, but are they really efficient now? This is, this is the big thing. Systems need to be accurate and efficient. Two things only you need to achieve when creating systems inside of your business. And it's the same thing with, with our publishing businesses, guys. Like your strategy is essentially a system. If it's very extremely accurate, right, and it is efficient, then you're onto something. But more so when it comes to administrative tasks and things like that, um, everything inside your business is a system, right? So if you create administrative tasks inside your business, you want to have them accurate and and um, and you know efficient. If you if you can achieve that, it doesn't matter how pretty it looks, right? You're going to your business is going to run uh, extremely smoother than what it currently is. So what got me thinking about this? Well, I'm in a few programs, right, and I'm looking at certain systems that. Uh, you know, their, their people have put together. And these are high, high level programs. And I think they're so manual, like the, the tasks that the way that they're teaching their systems are so manual. So they need to be efficient, right? And we have automation in the, this day and age. So for example, with my coaching business, right, if I'm going to onboard people, most would say keep them in a spreadsheet, um, have a look at how uh, how much they've paid you, reach out to them if they're on a payment plan and, and all this stuff. I don't need to do any of that because I've set up on my website a, a cart software that actually, you know, just uh, grabs all that information from the, the clients who, who we onboard and then it automatically reaches out to them if, if they're on a payment plan. It automatically does all this stuff. If I need to get every single bit of information about that client, I just download a CSV file. It's not necessary. So you see, my system is completely hands-off when it comes to, to, to taking payments inside my coaching business, whereas the coaching program that I'm in, their system is very, very hands-on and what appears to be extremely manual to me. So yeah, I just wanted to jump in here onto this video today and tell you guys, make sure you get your systems down pat. Like, And when you are publishing, don't ever forget this. You're publishing what you do and your strategy is a system. It can be improved. It can be more accurate. It can be more efficient. 
all the time. There is no time when your system is going to be perfect. There's always going to be uh, a way you can look at it, stand back and look at the big picture of what you're doing and and re-strategize and make your system more efficient, all right? Because I don't know if you guys remember this, but I told you about building a publishing system or strategy, or really it's a business model, using the software called Trello, right? If you don't have Trello, then you're doing it wrong, guys. You, sh you need to go out and grab the Trello software. It's for free. Create a Trello board and then systemize every single step of your publishing business in that Trello board. Systemize it, right? And then once you're implementing it, go through your Trello board and implement your publishing strategy. And then as you're implementing it, you're going to be able to see holes in that strategy. And as you see holes, change things around on your Trello board, scrap what's not working and, and add and, and double down on what is working. And what are you left with at the end? You're left with a very efficient publishing system, right? And you're able to do this by strategizing, by implementing, by looking at your results and doubling down on not, what's not working. But the, the main thing that you're doing here is you're actually creating a system like on a Trello board. You know, I used to do this with a pen and paper back in the day um, before we really used so many computers and all that. I would write out my system on, on my pad and then I would implement things and see what's not working. I'll just cross off what what's not working and I would go, this is working, big tick, double down on this. And eventually I would write it all into a procedure on Microsoft Word and it would be what we followed every single day, right? So it's the exact same thing except for we're using Trello. It's so much easier now now than having to write it onto a pad and paper. So guys, again, just wanted to jump on this video and let you know that systems are extremely important inside of your business, whether it's, uh, it doesn't matter what business you've got, but you know, whether it's administrative tasks or it's your entire publishing process, your business model, you must have some sort of system on paper so you can assess that system and improve it. If you don't do that, and you're walking around uh, essentially saying, I've got, I've published so many books, but no sales. Why? It's because you don't have a system. You can't really look back and, and see what's working, what's not, and switch things around to make your system better and follow it to the precise, uh, to the precise strategy that you, that you create at the end of the day. So guys, if you want to work with a system that does actually work inside of the KDP publishing industry or self-publishing industry, um, I've got one of them. Yeah, I've made one of them. I made one of them over the past uh, over the past nine years. That's highly honed in and highly efficient. So if you want to work with somebody who already has that system and get that system handed to you on a platter, as well as have coaching from me, then comment below and I'll get in touch with you guys. Either way. Please, if you don't want to work with me, that's fine, absolutely fine, but please ensure that you start creating your own systems. It might take you a couple years to really hone in and develop a really rock-solid publishing strategy, but it is worth it, guys. It's exactly what I did and had to do, and if you want to have success inside of this publishing business or any business, you need to really get some solid... You need to really get some solid systems in place. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off now because it's already 6.30 um, at night here, and that's why you hear all my kids and dog barking and everything. But um, I hope that helped, guys. And reach out if you, if you want to work with us and our company. I'll talk to you soon.